Hey guys, welcome back to New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine Lights, Camera, Action Richardson, because today we're checking out something super special, or should I say ultra special, because we're checking out the BenQ B5000i Ultra Short Throw Projector. That is not a TV back there. That is an ultra short throw projector. I'm gonna prove it. I gotta prove it to you, because some of y'all, y'all be hating, y'all don't believe me. All right, look at that. You see the shadow? That's because it's an ultra short throw projector. And here it is right here. Today we're casting on this 100 inch BenQ ambient light rejecting screen. It's an option. I suggest you get an ambient light rejecting screen, particularly this one to go with it because picking out the proper screen for your projector can be a really hard task because if you don't get the right one, you're gonna have wrinkles and waves and it just won't be sized right. It's just a terrible ordeal. But the thing is, I can have these lights on in here right now while I'm watching this. Look at that. It almost looks like an old, it does look like an OLED TV. But I can watch it here in this room with the lights on because this thing is putting out 2,500 ANSI lumens and it's capable of up to 320 nits when you're using it with that BenQ ambient light rejecting screen. In regards to the images putting out, they're using cinematic color technology with enhanced dynamic contrast and local contrast enhancer via HDR Pro technology. It's also got true 4K UHD with 8.3 megapixels and HDR10, HLG, and HDR10 Plus support. And just so you don't have to run out and buy a sound system to match this bad boy, it's already built in there. It's got a 40 watt sound system with two 5 watt tweeters and two 15 watt subwoofers. Now let's take a quick trip around the settings so I can show you a few things that actually caught my eye. I'm in the display tab right now and you can go down and see right there it's capable of 3D output and 24p true cinema. But now let's go up to picture because I want to show you these picture modes. We have all the standard ones, right? Bright, living room, game, bright cinema, but these two right here, filmmaker mode and cinema. This way you can actually see your content the way the director and the movie makers intended it to be seen. But if you really want to take control of how your content looks, you can go down into advanced color settings and they're giving you gamma selection, color temperature tuning, advanced color temperature tuning, color management, everything. Man, they are giving you full control at the helm of your new 4K ultra short throw projector. Now the projector does come with Google certified Android TV with native Netflix, but it's not a one trick pony. On the back side of the projector, you get all the ports you'll need to hook up all your peripherals. You even get an HDMI 2.1 for 4K at 120 Hertz input with auto load latency mode. And if you do decide you want to hook up external audio, they also give you the eARC Dolby Atmos audio pass through. Now check this out. I know some of you got crazy kids running around. Me, myself, I just have a crazy gigantic dog running around. So the BenQ thought of that. So they decided to protect everybody's eyes. You see that right there? As soon as you cross the plane of the laser, you'll see that it times out so it doesn't damage anyone's eyes or your pet's eyes or your children or even yours if you're trying to do some installation stuff when you lean over. You don't want that laser getting into your eye. But for right now, I need to turn it off. So I'm gonna go into system, turn it off, because I wanna show you something, man. I wanna show you how this thing really does true blacks. So you're getting true blacks out of this projector when you combine it with the proper screen. You see that? Do you see what's happening here? Okay, so you see this is this right here, this is regular screen material. This is the matte white screen material when you just buy you know, some run of the mill screen. This right here, that's what you're gonna be seeing in the daytime when you got the lights on or you know you got the windows open. This is what you would normally see. When you use the BenQ screen with the projector, this is what you see. You're almost looking at OLED, man. This is crazy, man. Uh, Netflix. All right, man, I think I'm about done talking to y'all. I'm gonna go make me some popcorn and see what I can find on Netflix to watch. But I will leave you with this. I'm no expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is BenQ hit a home run with the V5000i. And y'all keep being good to each other, and I'll see you when I see you.